Um, same thing as yesterday. I think I might have a sore throat or something because my throat's like really raspy right now. I might just need to drink some water or something. I don't know, but uh, just maybe just drink more water because I did drink water. But um, today, anyway, today's video. <laughs> I'm getting off topic. Today's video is the top five moonshine locations um, in Red Dead Online. I'm just gonna be going down the list for you guys and showing you all the possible locations while telling you the best. So, um. Well, I mean, there are only... Oh, no, there's way more than five. I don't know why it's saying there's only five. Because there are. Yeah. There. Anyway. Um, so. The number five location, I would say, is the Tall Trees look Or, not the Tall Trees location. The Hannington Stead the reason that I'd say the Hannington Stead is the number five location is because it's all the way out in the desert. There's not as many resources as there are in here. The towns are kind of spread apart, so if you are buying resources, you have to go all the way to one town. Um, for here, I think you just have to go down to Blackwater, but for other towns, if you're near, you have to go all the way to Armadillo or all the way to Tumbleweed, and it's just not as good as a location as number four, which is the Grizzlies. Uh, the Grizzlies are a better location, I would say. Um, a, a little bit more uh, area, closer to certain places, and just all, ar uh, all around slightly better than the Hennington Stead. With the combined, it's slightly better, but it's still not great. Like, if the Hennington Stead's a 1, the Grizzlies is a 1.7. Um, next I would say would be the Tall Trees. Tall Trees would probably bump it up to a 3 out of 10. Um, the reason I, I don't know why it's ranking by 10 now, but the reason I say this is because you're a lot closer to a lot more materials. There's, like, 3 or 4 materials that you can use to make certain, um, moonshine recipes. You can also go down to a town to buy the other materials that you might need, and I think it's all around just a better thing. Number two is the Heartlands. The Heartlands boost way up. I, I apparently we're going with a ten spectrum now, or ten ladder now. So this I th I would say would be a solid seven out of ten, uh, or solid seven point five out of ten. Uh, the reason I would say this is that you're you're in the Heartlands, so you can get a lot of animals too for your camp. But if we exclude that, you can also get um, you can also get certain resources um, that you can't get anywhere else. You can get blackberries next to strawberries, or blackberry next to strawberry. You can get raspberries. Um, you can go to the cities and get the canned strawberries and stuff. You can go to Emerald Ranch. You can go to Emerald Station. Uh, and you're near a bunch of stuff, but that's not as good as Bayou Noir, which I would say is a 9... I'd say it's an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, the reason I say this is because not only are you in the swamp, which get, brings you close to a bunch of animals, alligators, and stuff like that. Um, but you are also near a, a quite a few. Um, you're near quite a few areas. So if you do uh, the bootlegger missions, you you usually get them in this amount of space. But if you do it far, you get it in here. Um, along with that, if your sales are to Sandini, to a couple random homesteads. Van Horn and Annisbury for the farthest you'll go. Um, which compared to the Heartlands one, if you go to the Heartlands one and you go to Annisbury, you have to go all the way up. But I think the furthest is Van Horn for there, so you have to go all the way over. Um, for here, you have to go here. You have to go to a random homestead. I don't remember exactly where it is. Or you have to go here. Or you have to go here. Which is basically a straight path. You have to go boom, boom. And the, um, and the Pinkertons or the rev the revenue agents aren't as hard because, I mean, you just go straight and up, and it's pretty simple, especially with a short one. Look how short it is. Boom. Boom. And then go to a certain, or go to one of the saloons. Um, also, along with this... There are plenty of um, ingredients. There's evergreen huckleberry, there's vanilla flour, there's milkweed, and there's a bunch of other things like that. So that makes it even better. Um, 
so that's why I put it at number one. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do uh, like it. If you didn't like it, please do tell me why down in the description below. Uh, your feedback really helps. Uh, if you guys really enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing. I post daily um, Red Dead Online content, daily Modern Warfare content, and near daily GTA content. So uh, look out for that. I'll see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.